Hello, today and we're going to have a game of Head Over Heels for the Commodore 64 and why not? Um, played this back in the day on my mate's Commodore 64 then I ended up acquiring it, I think I did this is the only system I've played it on, I played it on no other system so we're going to get right underway with this game um, uh, when I look back on it now, <laughs> it does look a bit like a one coloured sort of game. Um, I don't know why that, I mean the graphics look pretty decent. It just reminds me of something like a Spectrum port or something like that. Perhaps it was ported from the Spectrum, but nothing wrong with that. Um, usually Commodore 64 games have a little bit more colour. And this is fucking hard to get up the speed of fucking... Come on! Oh Christ, here we oh, fucking hell. All that just to get that little thing up the top. Yay, fucking here we go. Oh, bollocks. I ain't played this for such a long time. Way out of practice on this game. So really, what? Hey, whatever that is, got an extra life. Or an extra, I think there was an extra two lives actually. So, well that's well worth all that fucking struggling. Believe me, you do need all your lives in this game. Here's, here's your other thing, that's head. Or is, are you, no, this is head. The other one's heels, I think. So we're going to go on this teleporter. So this is going to teleport us to another part of the level. And away we go. So what we've got to do is um, get items and things like that. And eventually you do pair the two up to continue with the levels. Um, so far, I couldn't even get that far. But I used to see my mate play this game a lot. Um, it is quite a tricky game, especially being 3D. Um, oh, this one's interesting because we've got what we've got to do here is stop that little robot. So, here we go, go over there. So, we've got to go push that little lever. There we go, and it stops the robot. So, now what we've got to do is go all the way back to looks like donuts, a box of donuts. So, we're going to go all the way over. There we go. Ooh, bloody hell, it's close. So, get over there to a big jump. Yay! We've got some donuts, whatever that does. Um, so, go back, go through here. Um, so, now we've got to do this. Jump over there. Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, bloody hell, so lost a life. So, try again. Oh, for fuck's sake! Um, try again. Yay! We fucking did it. Brilliant. Um, oh, for fuck, I have that frustrates me about being 3D. Really difficult, this is. Um, oh, fuck that. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, what the fuck? Come on. Um, head. I think this is head. Yeah. He, jump, he can jump further, but he walks slow where hills runs goes a lot quicker so we're gonna go up here get this the little springy thing you can move yeah so we got that and avoid this far oh, fucking hell avoid the robot as we get killed straight away um get lost right go through here oh so now we gotta go over there get that little trumpet thing whatever it is a bugle Oh, these fuck! Oh shit! Oh bollocks! Oh bloody hell! So yeah, it's getting difficult again. <laughs> Can get a little bit frustrating this game. Um, come on, quick, quick, quick! Here's what. Oh fucking hell! Fucking really is frustrating this game. Ah oh, right, let's go over there. Just a. Bloody hell, fucking... Ugh. Bloody difficult game this is. Here we go. Here, yay! Oh no! Ah! God's sake! Oh, I felt like, oh, what the fuck was that all about? Ah, oh, gee. Come on. Oh, bollocks! waste all my fucking lives on this fucking level. Oh, fucking hell. 
Oh dear. Looks like we ain't gonna do very well in this game. Well, it's been over a fucking... Yay! Now we'll get back. And I fucked it up! And that's... That's Hill... That's Hill's dead. So we've got... That's the head dead. Now we've got a play of Hill's. Well, the thing is, it's not worth continuing this game. But we're just gonna play around with it. Because you need both characters in this game. Because as I say, you do pair them up later in the game. So... So you've got to do, use both characters with this game. Very full, very well thought out, this is. Um, I think it was done by, have you done it, Ocean? Something like that, I can't bloody remember. It says at the beginning we've done it. So, so this thing is like a conveyor belt, you've got to be quick. Ah, here we go. So, oh, what's that? Got something. Oh, what's this? Oh yeah, so this is where we continue. You see this big black thing here. This is where we can control control that thing. Looks like Prince Charles because he's got fucking big ears. It's probably about as dumb. <laughs> um, so we've got to move that in position, then we can go and jump on it and jump and get that bag. Um, looks like a bag anyway. Um, well it doesn't matter because you, as I say you need both characters we're just basically just playing around now see how far we can get with hills bloody hell fucking 3D ah here we go so here we go just get that, get that in position see if what we can do um, come on we've got to do it this time oh shit I've just fucking pushed Fire twice! Ah, oh, fucking hell! Let's fuck it. Um, so we've got to move that, move all these things in position. Um, so we can jump up. And we still can't fucking. Do oh, there's another thing there we've got to move. Uh, I think we've got to get that, but we can't. Oh, fuck! Why can't we get it? It's just making it jump. Uh, um, shit. Now I'll we'll work this out. Something I'm doing wrong. Oh, bollocks! Ah, oh, no, I've screwed it all up now. Ah, oh, fuck! I've, to I've totally lost the plot on this game now. Ah, oh, bollocks. As I said, fuck hell. Um. So we've got to get up that little flying lift thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought this was a good game. Even though I'm totally shit at it. Mind you, it's been, what, over 25 years or something like that since I last played this. Or 20 years, because I probably did have it when I bought Commodore 64. Um, now, so now what do we do? Ah, oh, fuck! No, it won't let you get it. Yeah, it's just makes you jump. Ah, oh. oh. oh, bloody hell, I don't fucking know, do I? Oh, just jumping around, being a fucking total prat. No. So obviously you need the other thing to get up, but let's have another try. Which you might have to get it at an angle. No, that don't work. You can't get to that. Fucking... Oh, fucking yeah! I've worked it out now. You have to get the bag. That's right. You have to do this level. You've got to get the bag. So you can um, pick things up. That's right. Now it's all coming back to me. Fucking hell. So yeah, we've got to get the bag. I wonder why the fucking bag's there. It all makes sense. Oh, fucking hell. We ain't going to get it that way, are we? Oh, fucking frustrating, this game. Ah. Flipping. Oh, bollocks! Shit! Oh, I don't know 
why they couldn't put any colour in this game. Don't know why. Unusual for a Commodore 64 game not to have colour. Just like changes. Reminds me of like old Amstrad games when they were done in Mode One. I've never played this for the Amstrad, so I, couldn't really, I can't really comment on the Amstrad version. Never seen it on the Amstrad, so I've only seen it on the Commodore 64 and played it, so that's why I'm doing a review on the Commodore 64. Um, so at least we've got to try, we've got one more life to try and do this now, otherwise forget it. Well, it's no, as I say, keep saying, there's no point playing the game now anyway, because you need head and ills together so to complete the game um, so we'll have another go ah oh, fuck forget it that's going to end the review here bloody while I played that thank you for watching till next time and goodbye